everyone this is Jonathan Taylor with the BIB podcast bringing you another video tip this week in this video tip I'm gonna show you a very easy to use uh, program that I have really grown to like that I've just started using this week um, that allows you to create some of those really uh, cool looking animation drawing videos if you've ever uh, seen any of those whiteboard videos um, that you've probably seen on YouTube or um, for uh, doing presentations they're really uh, they really do suck you in um, uh, there's just something about that animating effect where someone's drawing uh, that just kinda makes you want to uh, watch what's uh, what's being drawn next well I finally came across a program that actually allows you to do that I mean I have looked forever for something like this um, I have used I don't know I've used uh, Camtasia to record um, you know uh, uh, drawing with my uh, Wacom board and things like that, you know, for presentations before, um, and that's fine and everything. But this is really cool because it uh, it allows you to actually, instead of you drawing, you can actually import some. Uh, if you're not a very good drawer, you can import some graphics, and once you play and render it, uh, you it will automatically draw those out for you. And I'm going to show you how that works. So right here, I've got a blank canvas on this program. And I want to get started by maybe adding a text title to get started with. So I'm going to come up here, um, and this is on uh, this is a program that you download onto your desktop. You can use it if you've got a um, if you're a Mac user or a PC user. I've got it installed on both my Mac and my and my PC. Um, so and it works just uh, just as well on on either one. Um, if I want to insert a title, I'll just go up here and click on the Add Text to Canvas. That's got the uh, T, the uppercase and lowercase T. Just click on that, and then you just type in whatever message you want. So you can type in, uh, let's see, Welcome. and then you click the check mark and it's going to insert that right in the canvas and what's great about this is you can actually adjust the size um, the size of the text uh, so however large you want that to be but if we want to preview what that's going to look like we come up here and click on the play and you notice I've already got some music in the background um, actually had queued that up from earlier but you can add a little music by going up here into the uh, little music note up here and clicking on a number of different soundtracks uh, to add into that loop so um, so that's another feature that's really great you can also add uh, text you can record a voiceover if you're doing a presentation a uh, very cool feature that you can uh, add your uh, voice text uh, as you're maybe giving a um, uh, some kind of lecture presentation and you want to have the uh, animation uh, being drawn out or created as you're as you're talking you can do that now let's say we want to add in like a graphic um, representation some kind of graphic that we want to add in you just come up here this little pencil or it's got add an image into the canvas and we can choose I mean we've got a number of things that we can choose from office people shapes um, sports symbols uh, we've got all sorts of things we've got weather tools um, shapes people so if we wanted to uh, uh, maybe we want to add a person in here below uh, welcome to the BIB podcast we could do that we could maybe come up here um, add if we want to choose this person who's got the uh, laptop in front of them we could add that right below okay so and uh, then if we want to preview that to see what that looks like we can click on let's see the play Okay, now you can see it's drawing it out, but it's doing it really slow. Well, we can change that. If we go up here and we click on the uh, the actual image of the graphic, if we come down here, we notice that it gives us a 
uh, speed at which that uh, that's being drawn out and we can actually change that so I'm gonna actually change that to like five seconds and so instead of going back in and playing the whole intro back out with the text I can literally play it from there just to see what that's gonna look like so I'm gonna click play okay and then uh, we can add more I mean this what's great about this this whole um, the way you do this, this whole canvas is one huge, you're building one huge canvas so as you build graphics on, as you build more text and graphics onto this canvas it just moves to different areas of the canvas, it doesn't move to different screens and I'll give you an example of that, say for instance we do a little call out um, let's see we can add a little uh, uh, maybe a little text call or a little, uh, yeah a little uh, bubble call out there. We can move. Uh, uh, whoops. We can move this around. We can move the graph. I mean, this is the software is very intuitive, where it's so easy to change things around. Um, again, you can move this uh, everything around to where you want it to be. Um, let's see. Maybe we'll make this uh, text bubble a little bit larger. What's cool about it is we can make a little text bubble and then even add some text in there as well. If I wanted to add, um, I could add this. I'll take the text from here and then I might want to just shrink it down a little and bring that over. So, and there we have it. Now we can, uh, now once we play that, again, we can set the speed. So I'll look at this, that's 3.5. That's going to be actually pretty good. Um, our text up here is about 6 seconds, which is good. The main thing you need to look for is whenever you're doing the graphics, you might want to speed those lo up a little on the, uh, on the presentation. So, um, say for instance, if we want to start right here with the uh, graphic, Play from here. So there's, uh, it's <laughs> unlimited is what you can do. You can keep building onto this and creating uh, this te uh, this hand drawn animation whiteboard video. However you want to. Uh, term it, but it is very cool for doing um, for doing graphic uh, presentations or doing uh, animation type presentations uh, where you need to use uh, a lot of graphics. Uh, you want to use a lot of graphics and maybe some text uh, to get your point across. What the another cool feature is if you go up and click on the add image. This allows you to add if you want to add your own drawings. If if you don't like any of these, and they've got little, I mean they've got plenty inside their library of, uh, of uh, graphics to pick from but if say for instance you want to create your own and import it you can literally click on this and uh, pick a graphic from your desktop and uh, add that image also to the uh, to the timeline and it will actually draw that out so uh, very cool um, very cool program. I really like this a lot. Again, this is the uh, this is the actual paid version. They do have a free version that you can try out if you want to uh, go over um, uh, again over at uh, VideoScribe. Um, they have a uh, they have a, a free try or a free version that you can try out. It doesn't have quite the uh, uh, quite the features. And uh, one of the things that you can do this allows you to do is um, on the paid version once you create the uh, once you've finished out the um, uh, the animation that you want you've completed it you can just simply come up to here and, and create um, create and share the video so you, once you click on that you want to give it a name and then once you've given it a name you want to uh, click on the create the video again you can uh, let it know what format you want to do this. I keep it in QuickTime video. Uh, you can let it um, specify the quality 
uh, you can improve the quality a little bit that's going to change the uh, obviously it's going to change the file size um, if I want it to I try to keep it about 15 frames per second uh, you can set the image um, you can zoom in at the end if you want you can uh, branding if you want to eliminate this is only with the paid version if you want to eliminate scribe uh, logo video scribe logo down at the bottom uh, you can do that and then uh, if you leave this checked it will have the the same logo at the very end of the video so I try to keep all of those because I don't want those in and again uh, that's only available on the uh, on the paid version so um, so once you've done that you can click on the create the video and it's going to start processing that and uh, rendering that into an MOV file now you can also uh, you have the option with this is uh, you have a couple of options you can save it to your desktop uh, as is uh, in an MOV format and then if you want to import that into a video editing software you can uh, add this to an existing video and uh, create some uh, nice effects or you also have the option of sending this directly to as you see here it just finished rendering now I have the option of sending this if I want to send it directly to YouTube or Facebook um, or if I want to save it to my local machine uh, to my um, hard drive I can do that as well so a lot of options or you can uh, in if you have a Dropbox account you can send it to a Dropbox folder uh, so either either way, you've got some uh, you've got some options there, and again, you can download the free version and try it out uh, before deciding to purchase the uh, the paid version. Uh, they have a couple of options. You can pay by the month. It's a membership. You can pay nineteen dollars a month, or you can pay a a yearly uh, rate, which is around one sixty uh, for the year, and that saves you about three months um, if you're going to use this. Uh, on a regular basis to create some video uh, which I am uh, it's worth it um, and if you pay the full year you I think you get it at hundred and sixty dollars which is actually about um, which is actually quite a bit less than if you pay by the month I think it'll save you about three months of uh, membership if you uh, if you get the full year but try it out try the free version out see what you think about it and um, you can um, you can determine whether it's worth uh, investing in the upgrade for you. For me, with having the additional features, um, with the graphics, and uh, not having the logo down at the bottom, and uh, being able to um, save it to my desktop and then edit that into another video editing program, it's worth uh, paying the extra because I know I'm going to be using this. So again, it's a video scribe, and this is. Uh, our tip of the week over at BIB Podcast. If you have any questions or comments, just email me at info at bibpodcast.com. Come by and visit us. And if you haven't already subscribed to our weekly podcast show, you want to do so over at bibpodcast.com. Thanks again. Have a great week.